Hi, this is Denise Estrada, and you're watching True School Sports. All right, thank you. Uh, you said you come from a boxing background. Yeah. How many uh, amateur fights and professional fights did you yeah, have? 17 amateur fights, 17 and, no, 16 and one, and one pro fight. One and oh. first round knockout. Oh, so you, you, you're undefeated. undefeated. You're like Floyd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Except better looking. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shout out to you. Oh, uh, what do you think about like what's going on in boxing now? Like I, you said, you went to the Reeves Joshua fight. How, yeah. what, what did you make of that when it happened? Uh, you know, the British fans are wild, man. It was a great experience. Um, you can watch the crowd just shift as soon as uh, he got hit. And although they were riding with their man, I think they were happy to see a good fight and see someone get knocked down and out and it was an intense experience you know yeah I was going crazy I was live on YouTube and I I was so crazy I took my, I took my shot and started, started running around my house it was such a wild fight like yeah, it was, it was, it was insane intense. the whole weekend was tense like you know there's British fans they travel in, in, in masses so there's probably 25,000 people I bet 20 of them were Brits yeah so I was there with Chris his team and a couple other friends of mine uh, in the New York boxing scene so we were hanging out it was massively outnumbered if if you were on, you know, Ruiz's side. Yeah. But um, I was riding with Ruiz. I, I, I called him from the get go. I said, you know, like you and I were talking about, mm -hmm. Joshua has problems with short fighters, and that guy's got crazy output and power and speed. Something that he hasn't fought. You know, when he, uh, he fought Takam, I don't think Takam had the pop. No. And I think when he fought the uh, Russian. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He uh, he was getting he was getting beat until he caught him. So. I think uh, you know, everybody everybody has a shortcoming in the game. You know, it just takes someone to expose it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, where do you think uh, Joshua goes from here? Like, you, you, do you think he'll be able to avenge his, avenge his loss, or is that just like his kryptonite, like Andy Ruiz? I'd stay away from Andy Ruiz if I was him. <laughs> I think he's got a better shot of beating a Wilder or a, uh, a Fury just because of the size and the range. He can use his range better. You know, he doesn't punch down well. Um, if someone's up in his grill moving with head movement, he, he just... He's stoic. He's just kind of got that bodybuilder physique. It doesn't really know how to adapt. But when he can stand the end of that stick on that jab, he's got, he's got the advantage, I think. I don't think he beats Wilder. A year ago, I might have told you different, but I think Wilder's improved. Mm -hmm. And I think um, I think that's it's a different type of power, too. Yeah. Um, I think he can eventually get some belts back, but he's going to have to be patient. That's my opinion. Yeah, take your time, kind of, you know. Yeah, get the right fight. He's got a, I mean, he's got the best team around him, so you can't get out of that. Okay. Uh, who's the best heavyweight in the world? Best heavyweight in the world? Uh, unproven, but I think Alexander Usyk is going to be the best heavyweight. Really? Yeah. That's a popular opinion, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a great fighter. It's not out of yeah, question. Yeah, well, you know? so nobody has that output, and nobody has that speed, and I think he's going to get all those heavyweight fights. It's my honest opinion. Now, does Chin Gassiev hit him? Took it, walk forward. Mm -hmm. Gassi is probably not Deontay Wilder power, but that dude can crack. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I just have a feeling he's going to outbox, quote unquote, the majority of those heavyweights to make him look silly. That's my opinion. It's, 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 it's an original opinion because yeah. most people won't say it. You say, they'll say, oh, Fury, Wilder, yeah. you know. Yeah, I think Fury's, uh, you know, from a purist standpoint, head maybe moves like a middle bank weight, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, but Usyk has got that, you know, that, that school that Lomachenko came from, where it's all about just output and uh, angles. And I, I think, I think that would give a guy like Fury problems, or anybody problems. Yeah. So it remains to be seen. Obviously, he's going to have a warm up fight. I know mm -hmm. towards bicep, um, but that's my opinion on the game. Showtime, Sean Porter. This is Eros Mandrain. Hey everyone, this is Jesse Vargas. You're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. All right. And you're watching True School Sports.